May 21. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That was the best, best, best news ever. I can't believe it. Mr. Walter D. Myers is really, really, really coming to our school. He was coming to our city anyway to see his old buddy. And he would be honored to visit our clean school and meet the mostly nice kids who like his poems. We sure are lucky that his old buddy lives in our town. Wow! May 28th. The bulletin board looks like it's blooming words, with everybody's poems up there on all those colored sheets of paper. Yellow, blue, pink, red, green. And the bookcase looks like it's sprouting books, all of them by Mr. Walter Dean Myers, lined up, looking back at us, waiting for Mr. Walter Dean Myers himself to come to our school, right into our classroom. Wow! May 29. I can't wait. I can't sleep. Are you sure you hid my poem that was inspired by Mr. Walter Dean Myers? I don't want to do any, any, anything to upset him. June 1. Mr. Walter Dean Myers Day. I never in my whole life ever heard anybody who could talk like that Mr. Walter Dean Myers. All of my blood in my veins was bubbling, and all of the thoughts in my head were buzzing, and I wanted to keep Mr. Walter Dean Myers at our school forever. June 6. Dear Mr. Walter Dean Myers, Thank you a hundred million times for leaving your work and your family and your things people have to do to come and visit us in our school, in our class. We hope you liked your visit. We think maybe you did because you were smile, smile, smiling all over the place. And when you read your poems, you had the best, best, best voice, low and deep and friendly and warm, like it was reaching out and wrapping us all up in a big squeeze. And when you laughed, you had the best, best, best laugh I've ever heard in my life. Like it was coming from way down deep and bubbling up and rolling and tumbling out into the air. We hope we didn't ask you too many questions, but we thank you for answering every which one, and especially for saying that you would be flattered if someone used some of your words and especially if they added a note that they were inspired by Walter Dean Myers. And it was nice of you to read all of our poems on the bulletin board, and I hope it didn't make you too sad when you read the one about my dog Sky getting smooshed in the road. And I think you liked the brownies too, right? Thank you for coming to see us, Mr. Walter Dean Myers. Inside this envelope is a poem using some of your words. I wrote it. I was inspired by you, Mr. Walter Dean Myers. From your number one fan, Jack. Love That Dog, inspired by Walter Dean Myers, by Jack. Love that dog, like a bird loves to fly. I said I love that dog, like a bird loves to fly. Love to call him in the morning. Love to call him. Hey there, Sky.